and Democratic candidates for president are starting to pop up all around South Florida. They'll be facing off in two nights of debates later this week, but first, they're meeting with voters and activists. CBS 4's Head Scouten has more from Homestead tonight. My goal is to end uh, facilities like this. California Congressman and Democratic presidential candidate Eric Swalwell meeting with immigration activists outside the facility that houses unaccompanied children. It's really hard in the United States of America to stand on a ladder and look into a camp and see, uh, you know, children uh, confined. He's here for this week's two-night debate in Miami. He's laying out his immigration plan. My immigration plan is to not go to the border, but to go beyond it, to invest in the countries uh, where many of these children are coming from so that there's security and opportunity there. Former San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro, who is also the former HUD secretary, talked immigration too. If I were president on day one, the first thing that I would do is start working with Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador so that people can find safety and opportunity over there instead of having to come here. And he addressed health care. That I would strengthen Medicare for the people who are on it and that I would make sure that everybody who wants Medicare can get it. Uh, I also believe that if somebody has private health insurance and they want to hold on to that, that they should be able to do that. Touring the Everglades, Washington Governor Jay Inslee is highlighting his environmentalist platform. It is time to start transitioning off of fossil fuels. He paints a bleak picture of something is not done to address climate change. And the science is clear. We will either transition off of fossil fuels or Miami will be underwater and the Everglades will be toast and California will be burning down. In the Midwest, won't be able to plant their crops because they'll be underwater because of the massive floods. And all 20 Democratic candidates will make their way to South Florida in the coming days. They'll be here for the two-night Democratic debate at the Adrian Arsh Center. What's going to happen is that on Wednesday, you're going to have the first 10 taking the stage. And on Thursday, you'll have 10 more. In Homestead, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. With all sorts of media expected at the debates, AT&T is working to prevent network congestion on its downtown towers. The company has installed temporary antennas inside the Adrian Arsh Center. They'll be used to handle the influx of calls and data usage that the debates will bring to downtown, freeing up existing towers for normal day-to-day -day calls by the public. Well,